All right, okay, everyone. Here we are, back on the regular phone, just like you're used to. I've heard your cries just now, and I realize, okay, part six was absolute piece of shit. So we're going back to the phone. The reason I tried to switch to my computer was because my phone was having storage issues and would not allow me to record anything longer than five minutes. So now I hope that got sorted out, and I can just record a 15 to 20 minute episode like usual. So let's just dive right in. I hope you got the gist from part six, because, oh boy, that was bad. I realized that. That was just terrible. So we'll just dive right back in, shall we? So again, I hope you got the gist. We ended up at uh, reading Monica, or showing our poem to Monica first, so now we're going to move on to Natsuki. I bet she hates it. Isn't that right? At least she doesn't hate it, alright? Well, yeah, about as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. It's, I'm mostly glad, just glad you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems? Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Use the wrong voice there. <laughs> Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? N no, gross! It's not like I care. This is that one of us in this club is to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's... um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Goof! <laughs> uh, ooh, Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was... just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurts. I know, man, she packs more of a punch than you might imagine. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Good idea. Anyway, Natsuki holds a poem out to me like nothing even happened. I'll be your beach. Oh boy, your mind is so full of troubles and fears that this min that there's minish diminished Jesus your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes, you, washes your worries away. <clears throat> Where was I? Oh, <laughs> I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that, make, that makes your heart leap. In a way, you thought I had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand, bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand, wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your, let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. Oh Jesus. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away, I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day, I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Yeah. I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. So I decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later. Okay, hang on. Let me set this sucker back to full screen if we're going... Oh. <laughs> if we're going back to phone style, that means I can... Oh, hang on. I can full screen this sucker. Okay, there we go. Just need to fix my cursor. Okay. <clears throat> So I decided to write about the beach first, and then came up with the message later. Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick up a topic and have us both write about it, or whatever. You can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy? Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Alright, on to Sayori. This is your best one so far. It's really nice, Alex. Thanks. Mm-hmm. So, Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is, is everything alright? Eh? Of course. Everything's fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Oh, alright. Hey, Alex? 
I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait. Of course I do. That doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I think it's allowing me to record longer. Hell yeah! Okay, expect longer, uh, expect 20 minute episodes from my phone again. Ah, uh, I hate my storage issues. I know, you so I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to, and I have to sometimes put up with you, but we have a wavelength or something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Say, alright? No, no, Alex, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? So I was in trouble keeping your voice steady all of a sudden. Can I have fun with everyone else instead? This would be so much easier. Sayori. I glance at the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori. I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. Snuffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Alex. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you have to see that. <laughs> As you can see, the mask has finally come off. This is the one time we actually get... If you actually go to Sayori route, this is the one time we actually get to Sayori, see Sayori this vulnerable. It really doesn't happen often. Well, the one time in school, anyway. Foreshadowing! Yep. I think by now you've probably already pieced together what it is, what it exactly is that Sayori is suffering from. But in case you didn't and you're as dense as a brick just like MC, don't worry, you'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure you've already put it together. I promise it won't happen again. Just smells from everyone, okay? I've never actually seen this dialogue before. I'm pretty sure I might have seen it in Purist, but I didn't know that dedicating my poem to Sayori every single time would actually cause this little breakdown. That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. If she hates it, she actually comes to the conclusion that she wants to go home early, way earlier on. Sayori. Tell me how it comes in feeling well, okay? She like says, it's great, I gotta go. That's all she says. If she hates it, she's like, it's great, I guess. Look, I gotta go, like that. But here we get this little little scene of there. I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Yep, she just ditched us. All right, Yuri's the last one out, so let's go. Well done, Alex. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing a, sharing a writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. But it's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing. And I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, Alex? Eh? Well, you know what I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions, you know? As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible. Huh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri. It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Ooh. Yuri's got some self-loathing issues. Also, by the way, quick note, I'm glad that you enjoyed part five that much. <laughs> yes, I know, that was the pinnacle of comedy, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, I know exactly what happened in that part, and I'm just like, God damn it, why... <laughs> why did I make the jokes that I did? I'm just like... Why? <laughs> oh my god, I just I fucking remember that like tight joke I made. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so sorry I had to see that. That was fucking terrible. <laughs> but enough about that. Let's just continue on, shall we? I promise. No more gel brand <laughs> humor from now on, okay? At least I'm gonna try to be funny, but no more of that. <laughs> no more of the tights and no more.